Hello guys, in this part, I'll be diving into the third entry module, and that is Engineering Liquidity Sweep. So by now, I believe each and every one of you knows what Engineering Liquidity is, especially if you're following up with the video course. If you don't, actually, I would recommend you to go back and uh, watch my previous video on Engineering Liquidity before we continue with this one. So without wasting any time, let me dive into it. And to this chart, we can clearly see that price right here on the left of this chart, we can clearly see that this one here is an invalid pullback, meaning that's not an inducement. And uh, the inducement is this one here because this one here is the valid pullback. This one here is not a valid pullback. I believe each and every one of you by now knows how to identify between a valid pullback and an invalid pullback. So right now, this one here is the major inducement in this range this that's the major inducement and you can clearly see that price reversed or retraced took out the major inducement and later reversed back again and broke past this swing point confirming this one here to be a valid break of structure and by the way all of this happens inside the range you can see our low is still protected all right so right here you can see price has broke Structured the upside, meaning now we are currently in a new trading range. With this one here being our, I mean, this one here being the break of structure. I mean, that's the break of structure. And we are currently in a new trading range, exactly right here. With this one here being the low of our range, exactly here. This here is our low of the range. And of course, this one here is the high. Why? Because after identifying your range, it's usually identifying the major inducement. That's the next step. That's the major inducement exactly right there. And you can see price has reversed, took out that major inducement. And once that happens, this one here, of course, is a valid swing point. As you can see, the major inducement is taken. This means now we have just confirmed our swing point high or our trading range high, which is this one here. So that's our trading range high. So now we have our range exactly right here. We know our high and range and our range low. So starting from the low all the way to this high, I can plot the FIB exactly right here. So now once you have identified your range, after identifying your major inducement, the next step is usually marking the POIs. And we all know the POIs, when you are marking the POIs, we usually start with the order flows because the order flows are primary and the order blocks are secondary so on our range extreme i can clearly see this order flow right here it's unmitigated exactly right there the order flow is unmitigated let me change the color of the order flow exactly like there and uh, right now if i am to go on to the next uh, order flow right here you can see the order flow is mitigated by this week and also on the next order flow still mitigated and at the order flow that comes before the major inducement, we say we usually don't mark that because that's an SMT, like an automatic SMT, and we usually ignore that. So this means in our range, we only have one valid POI, and that is the extreme, uh, the extreme order flow. If I am to mark the order block inside here, I'll just mark the candle that is on the extreme of the order flow, and it is associated with a fair value gap and by the way this year is also a valid order block and uh, because uh this year you can see so meaning now in our range there is two valid order blocks right here you can clearly see the first and the second and pretty much on the trading range there is no any other poi that is valid i mean order block order flow there is none because this one here is mitigated on this order flow this poi is i mean this order block is mitigated and uh, this one here is also mitigated. So right now, there is no any other order block right there that is mitigated. And the only order blocks that we have is this one here and this one here. We say that the one or the valid order block that comes immediately after the major inducement, it's usually the decision order block. And this one here is the extreme order block. And all of these order blocks are inside our extreme order flow. So right now, which one is valid or which one do we consider to take the trade from? We usually consider placing the trade from the order flow and not the order block. Right now, the order flow is the one that we usually consider placing the trade from. So we trash the order blocks and 
if now the mitigation from the order block fails, then now we'll be looking forward to take the entry from the extreme order block. All right. Right now, where is our engineering liquidity? Because uh, we say that marking the engineering liquidity is crucial in every trading range if it's there. All right. So the engineering liquidity, we said it's the pullback right before the extreme POI. And because the order flows are primary and the order blocks are secondary, that's the reason as to why this one here is our engineering liquidity. Someone else would have marked this one here to be the engineering liquidity because the extreme order block is this one here. And who would have failed because the extreme order flow is yet mitigated and this one here is the primary option. So the extreme, I mean the engineering liquidity will be this one here. So that's something that you need to note that the order flows are primary and the order blocks are secondary. So meaning right now, the engineering liquidity is not this one here, but the engineering liquidity is this one here. And by the way, this engineering liquidity is below the 50%, that is on the discount. And since we are bullish, this means now that if we get a sweep past this engineering liquidity, then that's a valid retracement as well as a mitigation from the extreme order flow. So right now, let me run price and see what price unfolds. All right, so right here, you can clearly see price is actually uh, consolidating there and price is heading all right. Exactly right here, we can clearly see. All right, let me uh, get rid of this highlighter. All right, so right here you can see this one here, price has swept the engineering liquidity very clearly there. Swept, I mean, it wicked and reversed. So all of these are just indecision candles. I want a break past this candle right here. If I get a break past that candle, then now I will be in exactly right here. You can see that's a break on the sweeping candle. We got a break past the sweeping candle. So the greatest entry or the best entry would have been right here on this exactly after price has made that break. So right now, all right, so let me just here. You can see that's the best entry stop loss below here and target profit, uh, I mean, right here. So you can see the target profit on the external liquidity stop loss a few pips below our range you can be aggressive and place it there but i usually recommend it a few pips below there due to liquidity sweeps and stuffs so right now let me run price and see what price unfolds and exactly right here you can see price eventually all right let me get rid of this so that we can clearly see price is actually consolidating at the moment so right now let me extend this Right, so let's see if price eventually respects the sweep or eventually stops us out. And exactly right there, price is heading towards our external liquidity. And I'm pretty hoping that price will eventually hit our TP. And exactly right there, you can see price is heading towards the external liquidity and boom, price made it out to the external liquidity. So you can see right here, after price has swept, the engineering liquidity price came again and swept the liquidity resting below here so if price if you just placed a stop loss below there you can see price would have stopped you out that's the reason as to why placing your stop loss a few pips below there that's the best option and right there you can see this here is a very nice trade just like i mean engineering liquidity just like inducement is a core liquidity and if you get a liquidity sweep from it, then just take the trade because it will end up being a winner. All right. So by and by the way, this, as you can clearly see, this is a direct entry based on the same time frame. You can see this is a direct entry based on the same time frame. I have not yet shift to any other time frame lower than this. So don't actually shift into other time frames if you're looking forward to take the entry. You can see I have placed the entry after the rejection from the same time frame. This is a direct entry. I'll be diving into how to place the entry based on the lower time frames. But in this part, let me first wind up with all the entry modules before I get into the top down analysis. So guys, I believe you have enjoyed the video. So drop a like and see you in the next part where I'll be diving into the last entry module.